Why do some children from poor families excel academically, while others struggle in school? When it comes to academic achievement, the socioeconomic standing of a child's family is one of the strongest predictors of high achievement. In other words, children who come from families of higher socioeconomic status are more likely to achieve higher levels of academic achievement compared to children who come from families of lower socioeconomic standing. But then, why do some children, even if they are from families of lower socioeconomic standing, excel in school and compete at high academic levels? Could part of the answer be that these children see a difference in how intelligence is created? Whether intelligence is something that can grow and improve compared to something that's fixed and cannot be improved? To find out, researchers asked 10th grade students from different socioeconomic backgrounds and different academic achievement levels about their mindsets towards intelligence. To measure students' mindsets about intelligence, they were asked to rate their level of agreement to various statements. For example, would you more strongly agree or disagree with this statement? Intelligence is something that cannot be changed very much. Would you more strongly agree or disagree with this statement? You can learn new things, but you can't change a person's intelligence. Students who agreed to these statements were considered to have a fixed mindset because these statements suggest that intelligence is fixed, limited, it cannot be improved much. Whereas students who disagreed with these statements were considered to have a growth mindset because not agreeing suggests that they perceive intelligence as something that can grow and improve. Along with a mindset type, researchers collected data on students' socioeconomic standing and math and language scores from standardized tests administered by the government. The results of the study showed that family income and the educational level of the child's parents were both positively correlated with math and language skills. Students from families with parents who were more educated and more wealthy scored higher. This was expected and has been a long-standing finding. What was new was the finding of a positive relationship between test scores and mindsets. Students who held more of a growth mindset scored better in math and language than students with fixed mindsets. This correlation was true at every socioeconomic level. So if you considered two children from the same economic level, a child with a growth mindset is more likely to have higher test scores than a child with a fixed mindset, irrespective of SES level. But could this finding be flawed? Maybe it's not growth mindset ideas that lead to higher test scores, but rather getting higher test scores that leads to a growth mindset. Additional testing controlled for this possibility and found the original correlation to still hold. The group also found a relationship between socioeconomic status and type of mindset. Children from lower socioeconomic levels were more likely to have a fixed mindset, whereas children from higher socioeconomic levels were more likely to have a growth mindset. In fact, the lowest income students were twice as likely as the highest income students to have a fixed mindset. Furthermore, for the lower income students, having a growth mindset was an even stronger predictor of high test scores than it was for high income students. These findings highlight just how important mindsets are for all students, but especially for students from lower socioeconomic levels. The finding that lower income students are more likely to have a fixed mindset suggests that their experiences encourages a belief towards intelligence that is fixed. Thus, working harder, studying more will not make a great difference. So why even try? However, realizing that those students from lower incomes who did have a growth mindset were more likely to score well brings evidence to the importance of mindsets in education, especially in schools with high enrollments of students from lower SES backgrounds. Other research has already started mindset interventions in educational settings and found that mindset interventions can shift a child from more of a fixed mindset to more of a growth mindset and can lead to higher achievement. If you are a parent or educator 
and would like to learn more about mindsets and what you can do to encourage growth mindsets in your children and students, a great place to start is by reading Carol Dweck's book, Mindset, The New Psychology of Success. A link to purchase it from Amazon will be in the description below.